Scott, we spoke on Friday about um, Mitro and how he himself would be disappointed with the season so far. This is just another really disappointing setback for him, isn't it? How's he, how's he holding up? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's um, he's good. Look, he's at, at this present moment in time has got mild symptoms of of the virus, but um, of course it's um, it's disappointing for 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 Alex because, like like you said, uh, at this moment I felt like he was right coming out of the the other side of of what has been a, a bit of a tough season. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing to to one obviously pick up the virus and and after now be away from from the group and away from us really when a uh, big big time for us where we need him as well really um but a great night on sunday night for josh maja and i think a lot of people a lot of neutral football fans feel like they already knew him from having watched the second series of sunderland till i die i just wanted to ask you first whether you watched that and where that's you, where you first became aware of yeah no i've not i've not seen the documentary i've heard about it I've, that since obviously josh has come in and people have informed me that that obviously he was he was at the forefront of that so yeah no I've not um I've not seen that but um yeah look I I mean what a way to to start you know your Premier League debut for us and to score two goals and for us to win the game was um I mean it's, it was uh, pretty special for him really so um I'm really conscious that uh, I don't want to put a, a lot on on someone's someone so young shoulders um but look, you know, I've been very impressed in a short space of time. I've I've been working with Josh, and um, yeah, hopefully um, that vein can continue. Really, as you say yourself, you've got to be careful not to overhype these guys. But what do you sort of see as his potential, and how, how well, as how seamlessly has he fitted into the group? Yeah, he's fitted in very, very well. I think he's coming to a he's coming to a young group, uh, a, a real um, energetic, upbeat. Um, group of players really so um and he, he's fitted in, in in that bracket very very well he's also fitted in in a short space of time of of, of one which wants to learn one, one a player that wants to get better um and i think that's vitally important when you come into to where where we are and he, he, he's made them strides very very easy so um yeah look like i said um there's a, there's a lot on him like any forward in this club Mitrovic was the is that guy as well and now we have another recognized Cavalero um these are the, these are the boys that, that obviously people look at they have the hardest job uh, any club the, the forwards are the ones who have to do the hardest thing and let's put the ball in the net so and pressure comes with that um but at this present moment in time and I'm sure moving forward he it will take any stride and we also spoke on Friday about the fact that you've been competitive in almost every game and you know you've just been really unlucky not not to get the win you got that on Sunday night what does that now do for belief for confidence that you can claw your way out of this yeah it it, it brings it brings a massive belief I, you know I always felt that and I still feel that belief was not never um it was never a real issue in in that sense because there was a lot of football to be played and we've been very very competitive the difference the other night was was there a lot of, was there a big difference in performance not really you know, look granted i thought we played very very well but we've played very well over the the last last run of 14 games we've had four defeats out of that playing against the them four defeats come from i think the top 4 in the division, we've been very, very competitive and played very, very good football. We've been a little bit short, which I think we've all recognised in terms of that final detail, not being on the right side of that. We was the right side of that the weekend, uh, the weekend and we, we won the game. So, um, but look, it's fair to say belief, confidence is there. You don't perform like we've performed if, if confidence isn't there. Um, so uh, still a lot of football to be played. We now have a massive week game ahead of us. We, you know, we go Burnley on Wednesday, Sheffield United at the weekend and then Crystal Palace. Like I keep saying, you know, we know what we need to do. We need to win football matches. And um, we're at that point where we're going to a big week and, 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 and another big 16 games ahead of us. Yeah, and just one final one from me on tomorrow night's match. I mean, if you'd played it when it was originally meant to be at the beginning of January, Burnley weren't in a great run of form. They're not in a, typically there for you. They're in a really good run of form at the moment. And you always know you're going to get a tough game up there and, and the way Sean Hamish sets the sides up. Yeah, look, a, t a, a really tough game. I think we, we understand that. Um, obviously, in, in terms of what Sean's done there over a period of time has been, has been remarkable, really. Um, so, yeah, look, they, you know, they go into the game with a couple of... A couple of injuries, what they've picked up in, in, in the sense of, I think Ben, ne uh, ben Mee was, you know, 
won't be available due to concussion. Peters, I think, come off. So, you know, I think like like everything at this time of the year, we're all you know we're we're all struggling a little bit in terms of the games and where we are. Um, but like like always, a massive game for us ahead, and we understand the problems that Burnley are going to cause us and how much we need to be prepared for it. Thanks, Scott. Best of luck. Cheers, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Um, Ian Abraham's talk sport. <laughs> Hi, hi Scott, how are you? Good, Moose, how are you mate? You're right. I'm very well, thank you. Um, first question, can you do it? Can you stay up? Can you, after the win at Everton, you're sitting there this morning thinking seven points is, is definitely doable? Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. I've, I've never thought any different, to be honest with you. I'll be brutally honest. Uh, loads of football to be played and... Um, when you're competitive, as competitive as what we've been, I always realise that. I always, you know, I keep saying it. Really, I, I get from afar. People are always going to judge us, win, loss, or draw at three o'clock on a Saturday, and after it, I'm judging more deeper. I'm judging what I see in every day in training, how the group are, how the group developing, and uh, that's what gives me constant belief because opportunities, what well, is creating, what we are creating. Um, how we're going about our business defensively and as attacking team, we we we're, we're producing very solid numbers, and 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 I know that some point that's got to change. And the weekend that did, we was on the right end of that. I think we had three shots on target, and two of them went in. Um, and so I mean, very different to probably what we've we've come come to see. But the most important thing is you keep creating these chances and you're getting in them in them positions and you know that that's going to have to turn. Bigger bigger problem for me is if if I'm looking at numbers and we're bottom of the league on, on most of them or, or we're really struggling. So that's not the case and that's what gives me belief. I've been asked today on TalkSport why I think West Ham are doing so well and I put it down in part to the fact that they're playing behind closed doors and sometimes you can have fan negativity or sometimes you go into an atmosphere away from home where the fans are against you and, and maybe that's why you don't win. And, and I wonder if the same is for Fulham because away from home, you picked up more than half your points this season. I think only Brighton and Everton have better away records. Do you think in a way the unusual season we're having is actually to the benefit of Fulham on the road? Um. I'm not sure. I think you, definitely there's a point, uh, uh, 100% there's a point that in some in some teams and some clubs that uh, fans not being in stadiums at this at this moment in time is 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 a benefit. Um, I don't think that really counts for us, to be honest with you. Um, I think we have seen a, a way form or certainly home form is not really as relevant as what it has been over the last however many years now. I think we see that this year. The reasons being, I'm not, you know, you can't really, I can't really pinpoint. Maybe it is the the, the issue what, what probably you see that home fans and that real um, that real uh, difficulty when you what you come into when maybe you're having a bit of a dip in form or dip uh, the way you're playing can can have a big big say in that but um, certainly for us which, no I don't, I don't I don't feel that there's anything in our away form compared to our own form really or certainly regarding our fans not being there or being there. One one good sign for tomorrow night is that you're I think you're unbeaten this season when you take on teams. And around you in the table. Yeah, I mean, look, that's a good, um, that's a good sign. Um, I'm always very sceptical on, you know, remember the last game, I think someone said to me, it's been 20 odd years since you've last won at Goodison. So I'm, I'm always sceptical of that. Every game brings different challenges and, 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 and different problems. And while also, you know, I understand that there's, there's form involved and we've done very well amongst them teams. Tomorrow night's a totally different, different game again. And, Will, um, like I said, a tough game for us and we'll, we'll try and be best prepared as we can. And finally, you, you know me, Scott. I always do my homework. I always come up with the, the, the killer stats. So, um, Fulham have only won one of the last 18 games on a Wednesday night away from home in the Premier League when it's been raining. <laughs> are you going to change that to Burnley tomorrow, Scott? <laughs> We're going to try and change that to Burnley tomorrow, yeah. So um, we must be used to the sun down here. I think that's is that what you're trying to suggest. Yeah, no, we'll um, we'll be prepared tomorrow. We'll be um, big game for us, and we'll be fully prepared.